Hi everyone, my name is Josephine and I'm happy to welcome you to this 20 minutes exploration around the joints. So some joint freeing movements to possibly release built up tension that can come from prolonged periods of maybe sitting in front of your computer or maybe you've been feeling a bit stressed or anxious during this period of time. So in your own time, see if you can find a comfortable seat. Feel free to sit on a chair or if you would like to sit on the floor. So you find your option here. And everything we do inside these practices is all an invitation. So whatever feels wrong for you or whatever might be creating some tension or pain, feel free to just modify or do your own creative movements so nothing is right or wrong when we're doing this together so it's kind of a 20 minutes uh, of exploring freedom so in your own time see if you can find your comfortable seat maybe noticing the weight of your body towards the floor and almost like a transition from whatever we've been doing previous today into this special moment that we're creating together. And I invite you to notice the feeling under your feet. How the feet are connected towards the floor. And you might want to notice that under the floor, maybe you have different floors of buildings under you or under the house, the earth. So the earth is connecting us. And now let's explore if it's possible to release tension in the forehead, around the jaw. You might want to move the jaw a bit. And see if you can kind of drop your chin down. Releasing possible tension around your shoulders. And investigate if it's possible to release tension around the belly out into your arms. I invite you to feel any sensations in your hands, maybe connected with your legs. And the weight of your hip towards the chair or the floor. Further down the legs. Back to the connection with the earth. And in your own time, feel free to create circles with your upper body. Maybe big circles, small circles, and see if you can move joint, the joints. Create fluid movements around the neck, around the elbows, as fluid as is possible. First one direction, and then in your own time you can Turn the direction. Maybe it feels different when you're moving the other way. And then slowly, together now, in your own time, maybe you want to lift your chest up and then rounding the spine back. So creating movements around the spine. Maybe two more times opening around the chest and then slowly rounding the spine. You might notice if you're holding tension around your shoulder blades and then one more time. And if you like, you can now bring the shoulders up towards your ears and then circle the shoulders down the back. Maybe two more times. Noticing if um, I can feel my shoulders here. <laughs> Maybe you're holding some tension around your shoulders and then you can shake your shoulders up and down. Okay, so now bringing the awareness into your hands. Notice the sensations when you're rubbing your hands together. 
And then if you like, you can shake things out around your body. And by bringing the awareness out into the joints, out into the periphery of the body, it's kind of moving a little bit away from what's going on over here all the time. And my yoga teacher in India, he said, ah, you're practicing yoga, that's great. You're leaving the office, returning home into your body. And maybe we can see if that is possible today to kind of connect with the body and the movements. Okay, so then circling around the wrists of the hands. Maybe you can feel how this movement is also affecting the elbow joints. And then see if you can shake that out. Okay, maybe one more time, circling around the wrists of the hands. Can you expand that into the elbow joints? And this time, if you like, you can kind of flex your muscles as you are the strongest person in the world. And then shake things out and see if you can shake your shoulders. Great. Maybe regulating your breath a little bit. Sometimes when we move the arms, the heartbeat can go up. And the same thing with the legs. So I'm gonna move back so you can see my feet. You're welcome to create circles with the wrists or the ankles. So moving the feet first in one direction and then in your own time, the other direction. And this is again an area where we can sometimes feel a bit stiff or restricted in the movements. Let's see if you can point your toes forward and then flex your feet back. So you're pointing the toes up. Then you can notice how the muscles of the legs are engaging when you're pointing the toes up. And then when you're pointing the toes forward, maybe you can kind of feel a different sensation in the legs. Sometimes you can feel this, sometimes not. It's totally fine if you don't, can't connect with this. So to, turning the toes up and in your own time, pointing the toes forward. Now you can try to bring some mus muscular activation here. So I'm tensing my legs, tensing my thighs, my calves, and then releasing and shaking out into my legs. And maybe one more time. Clenching your bum, your thighs, your lower legs, and shake and release. Now a possibility is to do this with the whole body and now see if you can also incorporate the face. So make a funny face. You can tense your face, your legs, your arms. No one is going to watch you. <laughs> You're only going to see me doing this. So let's go for it. Ah, and then release. Just notice if there is a breath coming with this. It doesn't have to be any particular kind of breath, but maybe you feel like breathing in a certain way. If you like, we can try to do this again. Wrinkling the face, tensing the arms, the legs, and releasing. Shaking, shaking your shoulders. Connecting again with the earth. I invite you to feel your feet towards the floor. The weight of your hip. Relaxing the face. The shoulders. The belly. The arms. And the legs. Slowly rolling your shoulders up to your ears and in your own time, slowly rolling the shoulders down and back. Okay, so the next segment of this short practice will be to some music where you're invited to stand up or if you like, you can stay seated on the chair. If you prefer to move without music, you can mute your computer. If you prefer music, uh, 
I recommend you to have a speaker so you can hear the sounds of the music and the beats and the rhythms. We will stand with our feet firmly on the ground and see if you can release towards gravity again, releasing the joints, especially the knee joints. And imagine you're lowering your center of gravity. And here, some larger movements around the shoulders, around the arms. Eventually, if you like, you can also separate the feet a little bit broader and also another option to bend your legs to start to use the leg muscles before we come back again and in a seated uh, final kind of closure of this uh, little short practice that we have together. Okay, so I will start the music and I will not talk that much during this um, part of the class. I will only guide you with my movements.
Again, connecting to the floor. Releasing the tension in your knee joints. Maybe you want to place one hand at the center of your chest, at the center of your belly. And I invite you to see if you can hold yourself here in space, just for a few moments. Feel free to have your arms to the sides if you prefer. Maybe you can notice how the breath is moving a little bit faster, and how the heartbeat maybe went up from all the movements. Now lowering the heartbeat by standing still. Relaxing in your face as much as you can and into your shoulders. I invite you to try to relax into your belly, back into the knee joints. Maybe noticing the weight of your body now through your feet. And then slowly releasing your arms to the sides. And then we can come back to sitting on the floor or on the chair. Slowly returning to where we started these movements today. Connecting back towards gravity to sensing whatever body parts has a connection to the floor and under the floor, the earth. And feel free to keep your eyes open or closed. And I invite you to notice how you feel now around your shoulders, any possible sensations or feeling out into your hands. The weight of your hip, down into the legs. Maybe you can notice the connection between your feet and the floor. So it's almost like relaxing the joints down towards gravity. And if you like, you can Maybe bring some of these elements into your everyday life until next week. Maybe once in a while, pause any movement that you're doing. Connecting the feet firmly to the floor. Maybe as a reminder, trying to relax the face, the shoulders, the belly, the arms, the legs down back into your feet again. Releasing the joints. Maybe you want to shake out the joints sometimes or create some circulation around the joints. But once in a while, see if you can pause, releasing all possible tension back towards the earth. Then if you like, you can bring your arms all the way up. And then again, it's like you're lowering all your attention down, back in towards yourself. And thank you so much for this practice. And I hope to see you again next week.